Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose. Today's episode is episode 99. And once again, going back to the Korean War, and it's being brought to you by The Bearded Detailer. Please visit thebeardeddetailer.com. Why? Well, I asked you nicely. I did say please. But you need to go there for all of your automotive detailing solutions. And when you do check out with all the goodies in your cart, make sure that you use the promo code TOH10. Why? Well, who doesn't love 10% off their order? Uh, I'll tell you one more thing. 75% of the profit from any order that uses that promo code will be donated to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. Good stuff. And while you're there, be sure to pick up your Tales of Honor podcast t-shirt and uh, their comfortable tri-blend t-shirts. Who wouldn't want that? I'm telling you, you're going to want it. You're going to look good in it. I guarantee it. I'm pretty sure there's a trademark on that, so I probably can't use that. But anyway, the bearded detailer where your dirt is his business. And now, a tale of honor. Melvin Handrich was born on the 26th of January, 1919, in Manoa, Wisconsin, and enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1942. He deployed to the European theater during World War II, fighting in Italy, France, Belgium, Germany, and also deployed to Kiska during the Aleutian Campaign. For those of you that might be a little rusty on your geography, Kiska is an island within the Aleutian Islands, which are off the coast of Alaska. The Japanese had attacked and invaded this area on the 6th of June, and throughout the next year, Allied forces would bomb the Japanese positions and eventually moved in with an invasion force of over 34,000 Canadian and American troops and regained the island of Kiska. Melvin was discharged at the end of the war and ended up re-enlisting in January of 1949, where he was a part of the 5th Regimental Combat Team. The 5th RCT was attached to the 25th Infantry Division, which was one of the first to be committed to the Korean War. It was Melvin's actions on the 25th of August, 1950, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Master Sergeant Handrich, Company C, distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action. His company was engaged in repulsing an estimated 150 enemy who were threatening to overrun its position. Near midnight on 25 August, a hostile group of over 100 strong attempted to infiltrate the company perimeter. Master Sergeant Handrich, despite the heavy enemy fire, voluntarily left the comparative safety of the defensive area and moved to a forward position where he could direct mortar and artillery fire upon the advancing enemy. He remained at this post for eight hours, directing fire against the enemy who often approached to within 50 feet of his position. Again, on the morning of 26 August, another strong hostile force made an attempt to overrun the company's position. With complete disregard for his safety, Master Sergeant Handrich rose to his feet and from this exposed position fired his rifle and directed mortar and artillery fire on the attackers. At the peak of this action, he observed elements of his company preparing to withdraw. He perilously made his way across fire-swept terrain to the defense area where, by example and forceful leadership, he reorganized the men to continue the fight. During the action, Master Sergeant Handrich was severely wounded. Refusing to take cover or be evacuated, he returned to his forward position and continued to direct the company's fire. Later, a determined enemy attack overran Master Sergeant Handrich's position, and he was mortally wounded. When the position was retaken, over 70 enemy dead were counted in the area he had so intrepidly defended. Master Sergeant Handrich's sustained personal bravery, consummate courage, and gallant self-sacrifice reflect untold glory upon himself and the heroic traditions of the military service. The Medal of Honor was given to Melvin's father in a ceremony at the Pentagon on the 21st of June, 1951, by the General of the Army, Omar Bradley. Melvin Oscar Handrich is buried in the Little Wolf Cemetery in Manawa, Wisconsin, Lot 141, Space 8. And that was a tale of honor. 
Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Wonder podcast. If you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them right on over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.